a lot of things have been going on, but I'm back and it is February and February is both Black History Month and Women in Horror Month. And to celebrate both of those as a black woman that writes horror, I wanted this video to be about black women in horror. So I'm gonna ask myself some questions <laughs> and uh, I'm going to answer them. And if anybody would like to do this uh, type of video also, I'll leave the questions that I asked in the bottom and you can uh, make your own video and tag me oh. in it. The first question I have is uh, why horror? Um, that can be why do you like horror? Why do you write horror? Why do you watch horror? And for me, um, that question goes back to my mother. So my mother really liked horror and I remember us going to scary movies together even when I was very young and her having a lot of horror books around in her library so I naturally would read them as well. So I think that's what got me into horror. Um, I would say what's kept me into horror as a writer is I think sometimes horror is therapeutic, um, whether you're watching it or reading it or writing it. Um, so the therapeutic aspect, I definitely enjoy. It's kind of like getting on a roller coaster. You know that you're going to arrive safely. I mean, you hope most times, 99% of the time, but the ride is dangerous and exhilarating. And I feel like horror is that also kind of making sense of the world around you. Horror is used as a conduit for that. I know personally, when my mother fell ill and had gotten really sick, I immersed myself in horror comics and read them a lot because it was an escape um, from something that was truly horrific that was happening in my own life. And it was cathartic to read horror, something that wasn't as personal as the actual horror I was experiencing. So that would be my answer for why horror. Favorite black female horror writers, um, number one would have to be Tannery Dew. She's actually the first black female horror writer that I ever read. Um, the first one I read was her book, My Soul to Keep, which is a classic, just a classic. And that's really what got me into seeking more black horror writers. Um, Octavia Butler, um, her book, Fledgling is also a classic. It's a vampire story, but a totally different um, type of vampire story than what you might be used to. Um, Linda Addison, I have her book, which is a collection of short stories and poems. She's received a Lifetime Achievement Award for um, horror writing from the Horror Writers of America. Uh, Chessia Burke, I really enjoy her short stories. Um, you can find a lot of them in different literary magazines. She also has a collection of short stories. It's called Let's Play White. Paula Ash, I love her writing. Uh, my favorite story of her is called Mother of All Monsters. It's really great. Ignore my phone ringing. Um, my second question is, what's it like being a black woman in horror? So there aren't that many of us, I guess when you compare our numbers to other races and genders in the genre. Um, so we can be, uh, you know, kind of like a sisterhood because once you find another black woman that writes horror, there's that instant bond. Um, <laughs> uh, Sumiko Salson is also another horror writer and she's compiled two different books that celebrate black women in horror. Um, I'll link those down at the bottom. Um, so I think it's it's kind of like a unique club to be in. I think also sometimes we can approach horror from different angles that you might not get reading like a white male author. You know, approach horror intersectionally a lot with sex and race, with how sex and race can intersect in ways that are horrific. Something like misogynoir, which is, you know, misogyny plus 
an added layer of racism with that. So I think it's, it's like a sorority a little bit and sometimes it can be a little, I don't wanna say lonely, but you can be othered in a genre that is all about the other. So um, I, think, I think that's what it's like for me being a black woman in horror. And what scares you is my next question. So what scares you? I am like a big baby about possession stories. I will read possession stories and novels, but that is the scariest thing to me. I think growing up in a Christian household and believing that possession is something that can actually happen is one reason why it's scary. The other reason is that loss of autonomy is very, very scary. I think that scares a lot of people. I think that's why zombies are so popular all the time because zombie novels and movies deal with people losing their autonomy and only being fueled or controlled by their hunger, their bloodthirst, um, with possession stories being possessed by like a demon or a ghost someone who's not yourself that will do things that you would not choose to do on your own it's very scary for me it also feels like not only is there a loss of control but a lot of times at the end of the story even though the demon may be exercised from your body the wear and tear on your physical, emotional, and mental self is something that you never come back from. You're never the same. You're, you're changed forever um, by something that you didn't choose to welcome in. So I think that's the scariest thing to me. And if you two want to celebrate Black History Month and Women in Horror Month together, I am going to recommend that you purchase Black Magic Women, Terrifying Tales by Scary Sisters. It is edited by Samiko Salson um, with select authors from her book, 100 Black Women in Horror. It's published by Mocha Memoirs Press, and it has really great stories from a lot of different wonderful black female horror authors. So, I definitely recommend this if you'd like to take a bite into uh, black female horror writers. So I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a book by black female horror writers. Thanks for coming to visit me and I promise to upload more often this year. Happy 2020, happy Black History Month, and happy Women in Horror Month. Thanks. Bye. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel also. Oh, I forgot to say, the shirt that I'm wearing is an Insana, the Wear Spider t-shirt, and I will have a link to it in the description box, but it is a comic book series by a black male author uh, that I think you all would enjoy also. So that's my extra Black History Month moment.